I wanted to share the latest version of my mini quad with you guys. I actually posted it on Thingiverse over the weekend. Now this is a honeycomb design and it was actually suggested by a good friend of mine, Cooter. He sent me a text a couple months ago saying, hey, you should take your existing design and honeycomb it. At the time I wasn't up for the challenge, but over the past couple of months I've been working to take this design and modify it to ultimately get this. So I printed a couple over the weekend on my Replicator 2 did a build and this thing flies incredibly well it's very durable and rigid each half took about an hour and a half so three hours for the frame and then these landing gear or landing pegs for all four took about 25 minutes so basically three and a half hours to get this frame and i'll do a build video soon but it's pretty straightforward you can see these hexagonal pegs just slide into these slots you can glue them in and then there are two halves that just slide into place you'll put some ca along the edge both edges snap them together, make sure they're real snug, and lay it flat. I use aluminum foil or wax paper just to prevent it from sticking to anything. Little cut out for your servo leads. Now the other really important thing that I wanted to do to make this build dead simple, if you've seen any of my previous builds, you'll notice that I've used either these Turnigy or these iPower motors. Problem with the Turnigy is that they're 2S motors. The iPower are great little motors, but I always had a problem with the mounting holes. But after flying with these Supo A1510s, I've definitely settled on these guys. So I'll put the build log below so you can see it. I actually got these from Altitude Hobbies. Garrett there was real helpful in helping me find a good motor. See the motor mounts flush with the frame. These screw holes are inset. Hypeka 10 amp ESCs with Simon K firmware. multi wee Flip 1.5 from Ready to Fly Quads. This is one of my favorite flight controllers for the price. Flying with a 3S 1000 milliamp Turnigy LiPo. And what I really wanted to do with this build is sort of take the thought out of assembly, finding your components, determining you know, prop size, motor KV, ESC size, and so forth. So just wanted to give you guys an early preview. Once again, the files are on Thingiverse. And let me just give a quick demo of it in the air. By default, I fly in manual mode. And I have the gains just dialed right in. I'm gonna definitely be sharing those. You can see how responsive it is. Now let me switch to stable mode. And what you'll see is when I roll the stick, it'll come back, or I'll pitch. Thing is super responsive and just flies really well. These Supo motors are pretty awesome for this build. So I just blew one of the old DIY quads off the table. So as you guys can see, this thing is super agile. I've been able to uh, flip and roll it in stable mode, which makes it a lot easier than doing it in manual. Let me leave you guys with just one last thought. What I wanted to do is try to get components that ultimately were less than 150 bucks, so you can easily get all this for less than 150 minus your receiver and transmitter. The other thing is that I wanted to find components that you could get here in the United States. Now, I mentioned Altitude Hobbies. If you guys know anyone here in the States that carry mini quad parts or would be a good source for these components let me know i'd definitely love to link to them and and promote their components with this build so thank you guys for all the suggestions following this from its initial inception which you can see here this is actually a busted version but frame and wooden booms still been working with rhino 3d and then printing on the makerbot replicator 2. And don't forget if you don't have a 3d printer received a lot of comments and emails that say hey Dennis will you print me one of these and unfortunately I just don't have the time I'd love to but what I can do is tell you to go to makexyz.com you can download this from Thingiverse upload it there and find someone to 3d print it near you so that's it for now until next time thanks for watching